Fun. This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien? Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, I use need one the of these tracking devices. Now. No, I know it's not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. The freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Brian. I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. I heard something. Why the hell am I talking to you? Civilian, I am not going to ask you again!
bushy talk about this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien? Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Let him in. I worked at the Humane Society. Had a small office. Here for your bike? Just looking around. I got you covered. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. See you around. Hey. Hey, you. Uh... Okay, hold on. That's it for now. Looking for something special? Um, okay. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's nice. All right. See you around. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Work supply before Blair? Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Hey, man. Just lo looking around.
Hey, Ricky, I'm in Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. Great. What's going on? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Here we are. We got him! Come on, come on, come on. Right, where the hell are you? <clears throat> newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. These look like uh, the kind of prints that So many shrubs, can't see.
what's in here. Wooden box. Good. You're in. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go.
guys. I'm at Camp Pioneer and it is a goddamn war zone. 
What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. <sighs> Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Out. Hey, hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on. See if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. I got march duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right. I guess I can let you do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice work. Hey, Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, I spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there, and there's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. All right, get down, get down. Damn it, Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out of here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, 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 follow him? Where the hell are we going? Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Skizza, or a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sandium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. More than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway and reduce their numbers. Make it safer. We have more farm land. Irrigation. Yeah. <laughs> Too close. Stay down. What the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah. In July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer two, Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. Did you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. 
It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. You got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know, goddamn well, you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick a dynamite there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. You get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I never knew that. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one. Still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that, while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They have motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks use the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but... Job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. St. John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. 
Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. What do you need? Huh? Nope. Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they use to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. We extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here, and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave ins that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building. The one in Sherman's camp. Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? Here! Turn right no. here! This is it. Mike, the place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. we got to head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? You, where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. Size called the truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... I 
wish to hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here because you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming with the Rippers, the one that Schizo so hot for. You cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. It's not gonna open. Come on. Gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much light, kids. I always tended to get on my nerves. It was always a sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. You didn't like kids. Wow, here I thought you liked everyone. Almost no one, point of fact. But I told her it was open. Even smart ass drifters. Come on. Locked tight. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. You hear that? Yeah. Were you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit? Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. Okay, okay.
Gentlemen. Freaks. They're bringing the whole goddamn town down. Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Addie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. the rippers why you wanted me to see that shit no dick i always saw a bit of myself in you back in the day how's that you don't give a shit oh you care about your friend don't want to see him die but me any other goddamn person on the planet i don't think so caring will just get you killed yeah that's right thing is not caring will get you killed just as easy Good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Dee. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. 
I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, my truce will hold. You can bet on that. Ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Hey, man. Just looking for some stuff. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Richard brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, you remember what I said about how we do things around here? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Thanks, Ricky. I wonder how Boozer's holding up. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm. The Lynch man. Son of a bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah. He's on the North Shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry.
open in the gate. going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. <laughs> yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors just yet, but, uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny. William, lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. <sighs> Seems like he's uh, getting better. Hey there. Where? Okay. Uh, yep. Hey, see ya. Swing by when I get a chance. Take it out. Dave, this is Tucker. You out there? Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by. Take it out. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out.
when you get time, swing by the camp, a job's coming. Ricky, yeah. Okay, I'll be by. St. John out. Ah, I need fuel. Daddy, how's the arm? You know, about 50 percent there. <laughs> Sorry, a little amputee over there. Seriously though, it's like I can still feel my right hand. You know? I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, that's what Addy said. Shit, there he is! Damn it, Vince, man! Come on! No, oh, no, you're not gonna get away. I'm not coming back! Go to hell! How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <coughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, do yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him. And I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. Hey, we'll bring him in. Lost like out. See you, Lynch man.
Here for your bike? Hey, how's life? Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, man. Just looking for some stuff. Hey. Hey, Blair. Yeah, good. Uh, yep. See you later. Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eden Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. What's up? All right, gentlemen. I thought you'd just swing by, shoot up the place. Nah, I just think it's time you move along. God damn it! Come on, <laughs> How many you got left? I see you, asshole. Oh, 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 shit. One more. He's here. I know he is.
Okay. Time to radio in. Let Ricky know. Deacon? How'd it go? It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof. Thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Shot up the gate and took off. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them and they won't be coming back. Seems like it's getting worse. The amount of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present company. I'm taking. Uh, yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice, yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get it. Let me know when the LC's locked down. I can't stop by the place of tracker. Guys, I'm not chopper. Let me know when it's clear. God, it's just... God, it's going to check in. Clear. Okay, let sure, I saw clear. So what the hell are you boys doing? Brian, the track. Stop okay, right okay. there! Drifter, we Leave will it. open fire! friends now, can't we? Nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, Pioneer Cemetery, the 
Cascade Highway lumber site. The truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What was that called again? Ah, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? <laughs> we have a theory that... I mean, we never see them or wild animals we build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Okay, you finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap yeah. Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness some. were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting <gasps> sites to human encampments. In particular, a large... Stop right I there! In trouble. Just gotta get the hell out. 
out of here before one of them spots me. Hey, anyone else hear that? What you're told, now shut it. Send some men to go out and get him. Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative than all of us. I gotta burn him out. I gotta make it safer to ride. Hey, Ricky, did you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. O'Brien? Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. O'Brien? Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. <laughs> hey, Ricky. You send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. <clears throat> so weird. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. Hey, Ricky, did you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if you didn't tell him where the seats were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Ah! O'Brien, oh god damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike. I found him. 
I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're going to have a trial. He'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Cam Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. Okay. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. O'Brien? Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Deacon St. John. Hey, Damon. That'll last you. See ya, Deke. Deacon, hey! Damon. Good choice. 
Okay. Thanks, Deacon. St. John, I got a bounty job for you. I'm listening. You're looking for Ned Walker. Where's a red scarf? He and his crew came to the gate the other night. We wouldn't let him in. He killed one of my guards, then took off. Hmm. You have someone to follow him? He's holed up at a marauder camp just north of O'Leary Mountain. I think you know where that is. No, but I'll find him. Ah, these things are gonna kill me long before the freaks do. Why don't you quit already? Hope I'm at the camp. Copy that. Cope out. Hey, Cope. Uh, the man he killed. Who was it? Young kid. Everyone called him Gopher. Never knew his real name. Gopher. How old was he? Like I said, a kid. 19, 20? No idea how he lasted this long. But he was a good kid. Why are you asking? No reason. If you spent more time at the camp, got to know folks, maybe you'd find a reason. Cope out. <laughs>
take that. Cope, it's done. You won't be hearing from Ned Walker again. Bring me his bandana. I want to see it for myself. Cope out. Yeah, of course you do. I know him. You track down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike. I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. We'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed are nice work. Lost more than a few men trying to hunt down that son of a bitch. Next time, just come to me. You volunteering? Never thought I'd see the day. My bike. Go see Manny. You got enough camp credits, he'll fix you right up. Hey, Deke. That was life in the shit. Hey, Jazzy. How's my favorite bounty collector? Mmm. Fuel's looking a little low. Should have more stuff later. Hey, you'll stop by whenever you need something, all right? Deke, how have you been? Damon. All right. Stop by any time. Yo, Deke, good to see you. Camper's life, hey, Manny? Found him. Open it up. I don't want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's Set great. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. Help you? It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll Deke, 
Thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well, he went back out there to see what else he could find. He hasn't come back. We think he's been taken by a group of drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? A building on the east side of town, the old Wagon Hotel. Yeah, I know the one. Thanks, Deke. I appreciate it. What can I get for you? How's the bike business going, Zanny? Okay, then. Hey, always good to see you, Deke. Some credits.
old wagon hotel, Hagman. Do you see Larson? Is he there? I don't know, but if he is, I'm gonna find him. St. John out. Scrap. Larson, how are you holding up? St. John, you know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go, run.
talk to you there. Found Larson. He should be on his way back to the hot springs. Nice job. I'll have the Alki keep a lookout for him. More rippers have been spotted moving north into Belna. We need all the men we can get. Tug her out. Breaker. You should look for fuel. Peace. <laughs> 